Yo, what up? We got another book review coming. This time it's The Road by Cormac McCarthy. Since I've been in a smoky South Oregon, it feels like very fitting to talk about this book at this time because the atmosphere of this book feels like what I'm living right now. Nothing but smoke and grayness and dreariness and cold. A little bit about Cormac McCarthy. Uh, he was born Charles Joseph McCarthy Jr. in 1933. Um, he's currently 88 years old. He changed his name because of ventriloquist, I believe. He is regarded as one of the best contemporary writers. Works include No Country for Old Men, Blood Meridian, and All the Pretty Horses, which turned into the Borders uh, trilogy. His style is uh, Southern Gothic, Western, and post-apocalyptic, mainly just for this one book, I think. He was born in Rhode Island, uh, raised primarily in Tennessee to a Irish Catholic family, and uh, was one of six kids. Um, he dropped out of college to join the Air Force. His first book was The Orchard Keeper, which awarded him literary grants to allow him to travel to Southern Europe, where he wrote Outer Dark and... Sutri, I'm not sure, Sutri, I don't know how to pronounce that, um, but those were uh, 11 years apart, so I'm not sure really where he was living then or what was going on, but I did just buy Outer Dark at a used bookstore because I came across it. And his works weren't commercially uh, successful at first, but now Blood Meridian is considered a magnum opus, and now he's uh, had a few movies, including The Road. Um, and No Country for Old Men, most people have heard of that, and All the Pretty Horses, there's a Matt Damon movie with him. I think that was the first one that was made into a movie, but uh, I haven't had a chance to watch any of them except for No Country for Old Men, and I wasn't really ready for it, I don't think, at the time, so I've been wanting to rewatch it, but I got a copy of that as well, so I'm waiting to uh, read it before I watch the movie again. And the Road was published in 2006, won the Pulitzer Prize in 2007. It took me a really long time to get into Cormac McCarthy. Like, I was first introduced to him um, in college. Uh, one of my good college friends that I met as an English major, uh, he l let me borrow Blood Meridian, and I read half of it, and it still didn't really, like, click with me. And I don't know. I was just kind of bored of it, and so I gave it back to him. And then I tried to start The Road a couple of years ago, I mean, I've just been seeing them everywhere. They're at, like, every Goodwill, um, almost every, you know, used bookstore. So I've been seeing them a lot, and every time I, like, pick it up and, like, read the first page, and I'm just like, no, nope, it's not for me. But I played Last of Us, the video game, and I've never really been a big zombie person or post-apocalyptic person, uh, especially after all the Hunger Games craze and stuff like that. But um, I, like, blew through the first Last of Us, and then I played half of the, the second one uh, before... I had to leave and uh and yeah it just made me in the mood for something like that and but I wanted you know a literary twist on it so I decided to pick this up again and like get through it for some reason I was kind of determined I was I don't I, everyone says they love Cormac McCarthy but he just hasn't been it for me for a long time and then after pushing myself like probably almost even 100 pages like this is 300 I think um, not even and it's really big font and it, so it was like 50 pages to 100 that like it finally clicked and um honestly he's pretty much just a mixture of like Hemingway and Faulkner both southern gothic elements and uh, the writing style I mean I've only read As I Lay Dying but it was short choppy but it has like a lot of it's like concentrated prose there's just it's simple but there's a lot in it and it and yeah, he likes to um, use, like, no punctuation, there's no chapters, um, yeah, everything's just kind of, like, a little page or half-page section, and, like, none of the dialogue is in quotation marks. So it's definitely a weird style to, like, get in, like, the narrative itself, like, how it's told um, is one of the more interesting things about it. I also heard that this was a super depressing book and bleak. I kind of like depressing books and I was kind of preparing myself for more. I mean, it definitely was like dark and bleak and not really any hope and everything, but I kept on waiting for that moment for it to just like cross the line where I'm just like, oh my God, I can't believe they did that. But 
it kind of never really happened. I mean, it was good. I gave it a four out of five stars. And one of my favorite things about it was honestly the atmosphere. I, I really liked uh, the world. He kind of sucked you in. I mean, they're pretty, it's this uh, father and son. Um, and the father's quite a bit older and the son is like eight or 10. So he's pretty young and kind of like the last people on earth, but not, I mean, there's just very few people left. Everything's like rainy all the time, mixed with fog and ash and it's cold and wet. And they're trying to make it down South for the winter because they, because the winters keep on going bad. And, um, and pretty much the earth is just dying and they're just trying to survive, not really for anything other than just to survive and um, continue and they're trying to make it to the coast and um, and yeah and it's just like one thing after another they're pretty much living the lives of like modern homeless people where they just have a cart that they're pushing around that have all their stuff in it and they're just like slowly trucking through the muck definitely like uh, it's not like a happy book I mean it had a better ending than I was expecting honestly uh, like positive wise it didn't have like a real sad ending I mean it did but like I don't know. I just, I guess my expectations were just like, I was planning on it just being like brutal. There's definitely points I liked about it. Um, like I, there was some lines not worth the underlining, but uh, a lot of the times I felt like the strongest prose, like I knew where it was, but like it still didn't really like connect with me or resonate with me as much as I felt like it should have. Like I was like, I know this is a powerful sentence, but it doesn't like, I don't know doesn't necessarily do it for me but I did like grow to like his writing style and his imagery and everything so um I did you know obviously I bought No, no Country for Old Men and Outer Dark so I plan on getting to uh, his other work because he's just so influential and um one of the biggest American writers right now but but yeah this is The Road and thanks for sticking with me check it out peace